water, about 40 meters. Okay, so we could probably eyeball it here if we're in the right place. So keep your eyes open for barbed wire. There we are. So the first thing we look for is the debris pile that we put in the middle, see if that looks like it's been disturbed at all. Sometimes bears like to dig around in it a little bit to see what's creating that smell. This debris pile hasn't apparently been touched. Well, it's the rare case where we've been skunked. So even though we didn't collect hair on the barbed wire, there's always a chance that something visited and didn't get snagged. These remote cameras are both heat and motion sensitive, so when an animal passes through the area, it picks up on, on the animal itself and then photographs a series of images. Well, do you want to look at the... Yeah, look let's at the see dog. what we've got. Look at that. It's a cougar standing right in front of the wire. <laughs> no. No, that's not a cougar. It's a bobcat. Yeah, it's a bobcat. Do you see any hairs? Anything. The usual hand. elusive cat. <laughs> the um, Cascades Carnivore Connectivity Project is basically looking at how carnivores move through the landscape. We are using non-invasive methods, both DNA and remote camera technology, to um, evaluate what types of um, landscape features might serve as barriers to the movement of carnivores, and specifically how carnivores interact with the three main highways through the, the North Cascades in Washington, um, I-90, Route 2, and Route 20. These technologies allow us to detect rare species, um, for instance, grizzly bears, that um, may be in some of these more remote areas. I mentioned a little earlier the liquid scent lure we used, and this is it. We uh, keep it very well sealed and double bagged. It's a combination of blood and fish that's been kind of rendered in the sun for weeks. Mmm, nice burp. Some chunks. See to you. See? Oh, Ooh, boy, I hope what I'm smelling right now isn't on me. Oh, man. I wish this thing could record smell. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say it is a bear hair. Bear hair is kind of uh, wavy, looks a little kinky. I can't say it's not a fun job. I've seen some of the moms roll in the, the bait piles, the lure piles, and then the cubs, one after another, they all just kind of wait their turn, like eager to roll in this stuff, you know. You're thinking that's got to be the best clone for them, yeah. Big ears, pointy nose, it's black bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a different bear. It's a good looking face. That's the one we got hair from, uh -huh. for sure. We just have a really exciting opportunity here in the North Cascades to maintain the native suite of large carnivores here. That is so rare. You know, the only other place in the lower 48 that has such an opportunity is the Northern Rockies. It's kind of neat to kind of review all the photos and, and go through and uh, at least get a visual on what you're tracking down, but we haven't seen anything that's grizzly-like yet, unfortunately.